I made a little purchase of over $1,000 in brand new Ninjago sets. This is like by far the most Ninjago sets I've ever got at once. Which comes with over 12,000 pieces, 50 minifigures, crippling death, dragons, mechs, and the Destinies bounty. So this is literally only the first set. This is going to take me forever. Building all of these sets was not only going to be a real challenge, but also a huge risk. Because I have no idea if the sets would actually be worth it, or I just completely wasted my money. There's this cute little dragon. Very nice. These sets are from the Dragon's Rising Wave of Ninjago sets, and whilst I've bought entire waves in the past, this is far bigger than anything else I've ever done. Building is going pretty well, I'd say. I love Ninjago so much. And after about four hours straight of putting this thing together and finishing our building, fellas, it's finally done. I mean, this thing is huge. I mean, it's so slick. Got so many, like, interior details and little Easter eggs. The dragon literally sits in the front. That's insane. And the minifigure selection is great. You not only have the classic ninja with Sensei Wu, but also new main characters from the show, as well as Raptor, who's one of the villains with one of the worst hairlines I've ever seen. But there were still dozens of sets left to get through and no time to waste. This is Sora's transforming mech by Tracer, which is a bit of a mouthful. I actually pray that this is good. Please. This is probably one of my most wanted sets from this wave. I mean, the pink anime aesthetic truly is for the boys. And in the show, this thing is... And before long, I finished building the set. But apparently, it transforms. Alright then, let's try and figure this out. And there you have it. This not only acted as a fantastic mech build, but also a motorbike build. And despite the fact that these are two areas of Ninjago which have been kind of overdone, they still feel equally as unique and innovative. And it's definitely something that I'll be playing with. I, I mean, putting on a shelf. Or on display. <laughs> on display. So far, things were going very well, but believe me, it wouldn't last for very long. I decided to go ahead and build Lloyd and Aaron's Ninja Team mech, which had some not so great reviews. I mean, I'm not even being funny, but what is this? So I cracked it open and began building it. Which started off with a basic little build for Aaron's mech, which honestly looked pretty great. So far, so good. As well as then, another few hundred pieces for Lloyd's mech, which I reluctantly started to build up. And after about an hour or so of building, in between my periodic breaks to cry about how much I spent, it was finally done. To be honest, this set is not as bad as I initially thought. It's actually pretty huge. Aaron's mech is, is pretty decent. And Lloyd's mech actually looked... Okay, when it was covered by Aaron. But when you put them together, it looks pretty good. I mean, you've got the sword, tons of like great detailing, and Aaron's mech is great. Not to mention the minifigures, which are incredibly diverse with uh, another raptor. I really hope there's more of this guy, because maybe we can combine his hairline or something. Fix him up. C tier. But you know what is the C tier? The elemental dragon versus the empress mech. I'm so excited. Oh, I've actually like. Yes! This bad boy has to be one of the best Ninjago sets that LEGO has, like, ever released. And one that I could not wait to get building. I mean, we started off with this small little jet thing with Jay on it, as well as this Lord Rass minifigure. He's a lion. Which was followed up by building the Emperor's Mech. Now, Ninjago is known for its mechs, but so far this wave have proven to be pretty terrible. So building this thing up, I was praying that it would improve on that. This is actually quite possibly my favourite Ninjago mech of all time. The level of detail was insane, and the design was just so incredible. Not to mention the scale. I'm actually so surprised. So naturally, I moved on to building up the Elemental Dragon. Yet another area which Ninjago has done to death. But building this thing up, there was something so special and different about it. Alright, so this thing is huge. It's literally the same size as me. What? The detailing on it is just insane. I mean, it's so huge. There's so many incredible building techniques. I mean, this mech as well is great. Oh, hold on, sorry. Forgot to tell you something. You can literally weaponize this thing even more. What the hell? This is top five favorite Ninjago sets of all time. It's just crazy. What's also crazy is the price of some of these sets. I mean, it's insane. So I went ahead and got building two of the smaller sets here, starting off with the Imperian Dragon Hunter Hound, which has a great minifigure selection and a pretty great build for the price. Seven out of ten. It is pretty good. Then you've also got Zane's Finjitsu Race Car. Now, LEGO loves to do these car type builds, but this thing not only comes 
with some amazing minifigures, but also a unique take on the car build because if you move the wheels up, it spins. It's literally a car that does spin jitsu. So now you can, I don't know, spin the car as, as much as you want, I guess. Very innovative. I'm gonna have to go and give this like an 8 out of 10 because the car spinning is just insane. Why does it spin? One of the sets I'm more interested in is this one here. He waves transforming lava dragon. See, the dragon so far has been insane in this wave, and in the show, this thing plays such a huge role, so it had to be good. I pray it is. I began opening this thing and started building it, and that's all of the parts you'll get. And having spent so much on these sets, this absolutely had to be worth the money. So after about an hour straight of building, it was done. It came with a range of minifigures, including Wildfire, who's actually exclusive to this set, as well as this sideboard for Lord Rass, and of course the dragon, who honestly didn't look as bad as I expected, okay? But, with a few simple movements, it could transform into a dragon with scoliosis that could shoot- Oh, hang on, two seconds. Could shoot a dragon energy core. Great minifigures, good build, beat it. See, now I had tons of vehicles, mechs, and dragons, but no actual buildings. So the next set to build was one of the biggest sets from this wave. The Temple of the Dragon Energy Cores. This set came with over 1,000 pieces and cost around $100. This is a, um, a lot of LEGO. Wow. And is undoubtedly one of, if not the best type of Ninjago sets that LEGO does. I mean, look at sets like this and tell me that I'm wrong. Alright, so this is what we've got so far. It's looking pretty good. And the more I built this thing, the more I... I was just shocked. I'm not even gonna lie, this might be one of the best Ninjago builds we've ever seen. This thing is so detailed. The minifigures are like great. We get the Spirit of the Temple, which is an exclusive minifigure by the way. As well as several other fantastic minifigures. I mean, you've got great details like the, this belt thing at the top. Not to mention all of these weird like demolition play features for some reason if you want to like destroy the thing. And a well. It's, I think, got a drink, I guess. This wave is just so good. Lego, you've done it again. You really could not do any wrong. It's incredible. But I may have been a bit naive. Now, I may or may not have forgotten a few sets, which is on me. You're going to understand why I left these ones to last, because they're not great. So I made the 40-minute drive to two of my local toy stores in order to pick up the last few sets that I've forgotten to get. Right, here we are. I've got a bag. And in this bag, I've got a few sets. I went ahead and bought another $100 of sets, including the 4-plus ones and the spinners. All right, I really want to start off with these 4-plus sets here. Because, I mean, LEGO has not had a good track record. First you had Nia and Aaron's baby dragon battle, which came with a villain side build, Nia, Aaron, a turret, and of course, this little baby dragon thing. I mean, I don't know what is going on with the mouth there. Pretty interesting, I guess. Really, Lego? What? With this set not being too great, I hopped on to building the next 4 plus set, which was the Kai and Ras battle bike. They started off with a pretty decent build for Kai. I have to say, I quite like this 4 plus set. Very nice. And this bike for Lord Ras is honestly kind of nice. Lego, you've surprised me again. The price, the minifigures, the builds, it's all very good. But now we're on to the spinners for this wave. They're not a brag or anything, but <laughs> growing up, I was an absolute beast, okay? Anyone, anyone I went up against, I was taking them out. And here, LEGO gave us three spinners of Lloyd, Nia, and Kai, which actually spanned surprisingly well and could be used for hours of fun to destroy your enemies and prove yourself to be the biggest Ninjago fan of all time, which is, of course, me, but... I mean, this is every single minifigure from this wave of sets, which is absolutely mind-boggling. Growing up, this is something I literally would have only dreamed about. And putting the sets together, including Ninjago Markets, which I built in this video here, just shows you how mental all of this is. This is what well over $1,000 of LEGO looks like. There is so, so many, like, different sets. However, I still had to add one more set to this collection, which hopefully could be used to fix Raptor's hairline. I don't think I'm going to be able to afford rent this month, so please subscribe. <laughs>